Heavy Jad here, back with another video, and in this video, we are going to be having a custom Beyblade tournament where we put some combos that look like Beytubers up against each other and see who the ultimate Beytuber combo is. So let's get straight into it. Here we have 16 different combos of 16 different small and large Beytubers. So, you know, guys, like I didn't want to do all big bay tubers because then you know like i want to include everyone in the community so we also have like a lot of small bay tubers who don't have like a bajillion subs but are who, who are doing like a really good job with their channels so we're including everyone in this video and i'm really excited to get straight into it by showing you guys these combos some of them are better than others but i try to keep things mostly as balanced as possible like even the really good combos usually have a weakness so we're going to be using like slingshot phase we're going to be using hypersphere we even have like dual layer beyblade but we're trying to keep things as balanced as possible so with that being said we're going to be doing the first part in this video and then we're going to be having a second part where we finish off this tournament but in this video we're going to be introducing you guys to all of the epic combos and we're going to be doing the first round of the tournament on like both sides of the bracket which i'll explain like a little later you'll see what i mean but let's just get straight into showing you guys the combos i'm really excited if any of the baytubers who are included in this video are watching it um good luck and i hope this is fun for everyone whether or not um you're included because there are so many baytubers guys i sadly couldn't fit everyone I include a good range of baytubers and i'm just really excited to get straight into this make sure to tell me which ones you guys want to win pick a favorite or two and follow them throughout this series because that makes it more fun and um without further ado let's just get straight into these combos starting off with the most popular baytuber which is bbg so basically this combo is meant to like look like the beyblade geeks like it's looking super spicy and everything and as you guys can see their logo is kind of harder to do because it's two people in it now this is because it kind of has the gold the white and the black like their logo also with a little bit of blue kind of like how their logo has a splash of color in it the parts are pretty good it's pretty heavy it's not the most burst resistant not the least it's just a really solid nice looking combo so our next combo coming up here is a smaller baytuber who's doing really good right now and that is nego nation guys so this is the combo for nego nation i think it looks super super spicy the colors all contrast really well but um this is a really good combo with a lot of potential Coming up next, we have Maximum RPM, and this is just a really cool combo. Really excited to see how he does in this tournament. Um, we're just trying to do his logo the best we can here. So we have a lot of green with the red, and then also this um, Forge Disc kind of looks like the needle, kind of on like the um, speedometer kind of looking thing on his logo. Really excited to see how this does, because I love this layer in general, and I wanted to get pretty far in this tournament. Next, we have Beyblade Dads. This combo is supposed to look like his logo, and I think, honestly, this is one of the closest ones. Because, like, just like his logo, it has the black, it has the red, and, like, some blue splashed in there. And then you have all this black, kind of like the background, and you still have, like, silver white parts. I just think this does a really good job of representing, like, the vibe and the colors and everything of his logo. And he's a really awesome baytuber, so hopefully this combo can get pretty far. Really excited to see how it performs. Next up, we have a baytuber with a good amount of subscribers, and that is Ilana. I think the colors fit pretty well. I think this is a really solid choice. The parts aren't super duper good, but honestly, there's nothing holding it back. So I think it's gonna get pretty far, honestly. Next up, we have the one and only Corrupt Burst. This is supposed to represent his logo, and I think it does that perfectly, honestly. Um, you got the, the jerk right here, and uh, this kind of forged disc came out a while ago, but I love it because it has the blue in it, so it really matches. Like, look at that. They are so close to matching. This combo is just gonna keep spinning. It's gonna have so much light after death. I don't know how this is gonna go. It could either flop or it could just destroy everything. Make sure to stay tuned to find out, but that's a really interesting combo. Next up here, we have the one and only 
Riptide. Really awesome combo here for a really awesome channel. As you can see, you have a lot of white on this, just to kind of like be the outside of his logo. And then you also have the blue for his mask. The rest of it is white. Um, you have Hurricane as it's this, just because it has to do with water. You kind of think of that like with Riptide and everything. And you also got Flow, kind of like the water. And I think this is a pretty solid combo. It's an attack type, so it might struggle a little. But we'll see. It's a really cool combo nonetheless, though. Next up, we have the one and only Ball Tums, and this is kind of a sad, sad combo. I don't know. It's just, guys, I could not pass up putting Ball Tums in here as a unicorn. How can you not put him as Unicrest? Like, sure, it's a dual layer. Sure, it might get destroyed, but we're not counting it off, guys. Underdogs, everyone loves Underdogs. Honestly, this is the one of the, like, the most accurate. We're gonna see how far it can actually get though, but hopefully it represents him and his channel really well and hopefully it does better than you might think it does. Next up, we have another bigger VTuber and that is one of my personal favorite VTubers and that's Lovebirds. So, as you guys can see here, we have, you know, we had to put Spriggan or Spryzen as the top layer. It just makes so much sense for his channel. You know, he's like a big Spryzen fan. So anyways, we had to put it as the layer and then for the rest it looks so cool how well these two parts match this one's honestly gonna go really far with the burst stoppers with this like a not super top tier it will perform decently like it has 10 miles after your dad and just put it on a good layer and the layer's gonna carry it honestly so pretty amazing next up we have the one and only jojo so she's a really awesome youtuber with a really hard to match logo like honestly what what, what we're going for is kind of like a hair color kind of like uh like the shirt of her logo and then kind of like the background ish kind of that's what we're going for so honestly like people with logos that are their faces are really hard to match I really think this combo is going to do pretty well. This driver is super worn out, so these burst locks are going to have to do a lot of work to keep this thing together, but super awesome combo. Next up, we have Instaburst. It's a super epic VTuber, and I feel like this combo suits it pretty well. We have um, a left spinning layer, and I think this is one of the only left spins. Interesting. Pro iron stick that doesn't get used a lot because if it gets knocked off balance, like that plastic really drains the stamina. But it kind of fits like the letters, and all this red kind of fits like the lava y background in Instaburst's logo. Our next combo is Burst Files, the amazing modeler. And we have a combo that's kind of supposed to fit that vibe. So we have like the black and purplish kind of look. Also, we have Blitz as the Forge Dish since he can like model. A Beyblade in like five seconds flat <laughs> and then we have just a performance shift that kind of matches the colors kind of matches the speed of this whole Beyblade and I think this is a really interesting combo love the layer because of the different modes and I feel like this really suits the logo pretty well so guys our next up combo is another VTuber with a good amount of subscribers and that is gonna have to be Kimbo so basically he has a really awesome channel and this logo of his I think this fits it pretty well. The idea of this combo is to be really great, have the splash of white in there, and to just steal spin. Like, it's a left spin, it's straight and fafnir, and it's with the driver that gives it a ton of, like, life after death. So, really awesome combo. Hopefully it represents the channel well, and I'm really excited to see how it works as, as a combo, because it's really interesting. Next up, we have the one and only Quake and Bacon. I don't have Ragnarok or Rock the Board as, as a combo or as a layer. If I did, I probably would have included it because it looks a lot more like his logo. But we had to make do here. The colors are pretty accurate. You got kind of like this orange kind of thing to fit his logo. And then for this, you kind of have like the background and the different accents. Just like Quick and Bacon can model just about anything, this mode can adapt to fit about any situation or this tip. So that's the whole idea with this Beyblade. So guys, the next combo is based on the VTuber Leo Burst. He is a really good YouTuber. He gets everything super early. So if you like want to see Beyblades the earliest you possibly can, featured in videos like his channel is perfect for that. But basically his logo is like 50 different Beyblades. So he couldn't do the best job of matching it. Like we do have some color in here, but we kind of went off of his banner and his name. So the name is Leo Burst and like 
that references Rock Leon, I'm thinking. If not, um, I'm making it reference Rock Leon. And basically, we kind of have a family beard that matches Rock Leon, kind of matches his banner a little bit, and we're just going for the Rock Leon. So basically, I tried to represent him really accurately, guys. I tried to you know, give them the deserved attention, and I really like this Beyblade, so hopefully it gets pretty far. Then, last but certainly not least, we have the Happy Rhino combo, you know, I'm not, 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 I'm not gonna say anything, but we have to include ourselves in it. It's perfect, perfect for our channel. We have blue and yellow, which if you didn't tell, like, it's kind of our channel's colors, like, based on our intro and everything. Then we have all the gray, because we're a rhino, like, do I even need to explain that? We have seven because it's a heavy frame and it's armored and it's not super OP, but it's heavy just like a rhino. I don't think I need to explain that either. And then also the blue matches right there. And this layer has two different modes. We have the calm mode and then um, we have the aggressive mode right here. See like how it changes to red. So it's just like happy rhino because we're made out of two different people. And um, I'd like to say I'm the blue calm one. I'm probably the red crazy one. But basically, we have two different modes for the two different people of Happy Rhino. We have all these horns, which are pointed out, just like keep your horns up. It's perfect, guys. This combo is going to destroy everyone, even though it's not a really good combo, honestly. I don't think it's going to get super far, but I love it nonetheless. Mwah. And I hope it gets far. So basically, guys, those are all the combos. Once again, really happy with how they turned out. Um, really like a lot of these bay chambers, so just want to give them all the credit. Links are going to be down in the description. That's pretty much it, guys. We're going to get straight into matchmaking. Closing my eyes, even though I know you can't see it, but my eyes are closed. And we're going to randomly pick these Beyblades. So here we go. Let's see who gets who. And let's get started with this event, guys. I'm really excited. First matchup is, oh man, it's going to take me forever to remember these names. But we got Instaverse versus Maximum RPM. Next, we have... Um, Leo Burst versus Jojo. Then we have Corrupt Burst versus Kimbo. We have a Happy Rhino versus um, Riptide. Oh no, Riptide's such a good combo. I really don't want Happy Rhino to lose this early, but Riptide's also really good. We'll see what happens there. Then we have Beyblade Dad versus Nico Nation excited for that matchup. And then we have Luck Burst versus um, Illinuk. And so these are two really big Baytubers, like two of the Baytubers that I watch the most. So two of them there. Then we have, ooh, this should be a cool matchup. We got Burst Bows versus Boltums. And then we have um, the Beyblade Geeks versus, oh my goodness, my brain is shutting down. Quaken Bacon. Without further ado, you'll be seeing right now the um, bracket up on your screen so you can see who's going against who, how they converge, all of that fun stuff. And we're going to just be getting straight into it with some battles. The first battles are going to be first two, three points. And that's going to be the end of this video once we get through this first line of battles. In the second video, we'll do the rest of it. But basically, that's enough talking. Let's get into some battling, guys. Here we go. Three, two, one. We got Insta Burst. And we got Maximum RPM. He's very really spinning fast. I can speak, guys. My voice is going crazy. But these combos are just clinking and clacking along. It seems pretty even. Maybe giving the edge to Insta Burst because he's more of a stand oriented combo. But that plastic ridge of this tip is going to start hitting. And Insta Burst with one point. Once again, we're doing first to three points. Burst are worth two points because, you know, we're playing with Beyblade, so you gotta give some priorities to Bursts. Anyways, Insta Burst taking that first battle. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Maximum RPM moving around a little more at the start of this battle compared to the last one, it seems like. Not too much action from these two Beyblades. I honestly thought Maximum RPM might be moving around a little bit more, but it seems like he's starting to wobble. This could be really bad. This could be a 3-0 possibly if he doesn't pull something here. 
And Instaburst takes it again, not even close to bursting, using that left spinning um, spin direction to kind of steal some spin from uh, Maximum RPM. Maximum RPM's gonna have to pull something off here. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Some hits at the beginning as usual. Things are just starting to steady down a little bit more and this is not looking good for Maximum RPM. He's getting in some hits here. I'm not sure if that honestly helps him or Instaburst more because it's just spin stealing. This seems really bad. This might be his final moments of this, of being in this tournament and this video. And it is. Instaverse just like three stock that boy. <laughs> Sorry, Maximum RPM. Thanks for being in this video, but your combo is out of here, sadly. So next up here, we're going to be doing Leo Burst versus JoJo. Let's get straight into this. They're both right spin, which I'm happy about, compared to like our last two opponents, which is kind of annoying, but three, two, one, and three, two, one. Ooh, these are much more clinky than our last opponents, guys. Like, I don't, don't know if you can hear it super well, over like uh, the video, over YouTube, but just in real life, it feels like more powerful of hits. Like it's not as like plasticky, I guess. It's not as muted. These are like planks. Oh, and it's super close. Wow. Wow. Um, the JoJo combo just, Leo Burst just lost all of, my goodness. I don't even know what to say. I thought, three, two, one, and three, two, one. Oh no, I feel a burst coming. I do. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, getting out of the danger zone. Maybe a burst isn't gonna happen. <laughs> did I just, did I, did I call that or what? Did I call that or what? Oh no, Leo burst eliminated another. 3-0 matchup, guys. My goodness, some YouTubers are just destroying the competition. Ugh, Instaburst and JoJo are our two first combos to be moving on. Sorry to the others, though. Let's get straight into this next battle, though. So, guys, next up, we have the one and only Corrupt Burst versus Kimbo. Let's see what happens with his left spin. Um, like his spin stealing, this honestly might be the worst matchup he could get because Corrupt Burst is so circular. Like, is it gonna spin steal as much? I don't know. And plus, Corrupt Burst has a ton of life after death. This seems like the worst combo Kimbo could possibly get. Let's see what happens here though, guys. They're both combos with Hyper Sear Tips. Not sure if that's gonna play into a ton of anything, but we'll see here. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. What? What? How is that still spinning, too? Can we just address that? But how? What? What? Why did that happen? It literally bursted upon impact, and this is Drain Fafnir we're talking about here, guys. Drain Fafnir just got bursted upon impact. Is it because, is it because, like, their heights line up perfectly to where, uh, I don't know, guys. But Drain Fact, you just got absolutely obliterated. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Big hits. Okay, no insta-bursting. Oh, no. What? Okay, here's where Kimbo starts running out of stamina. But can it spin steal enough to just keep going? And does it even have more life after death? than Corrupt Burst in the first place. Oh, I think Kimbo might actually take this, though. Oh, no, this is coming down to the wire. I think Kimbo's gonna take it. Wait. Ah! Uh, guys, upon further review, I think Kimbo took that by the skin of its teeth. Goodness, that was so close. I'm not sure if we can keep it going, though. During this second battle, it seemed very close to bursting. Um, let's see what happens here, guys. Launching Kuma first this time, and then Kimbo. Oh no, that was such a late launch. Oh, okay, well, it doesn't matter it was a late launch, because Corrupt Burst just pulled that back. Okay, well, huh, that just happened. A ring out finished, which means it's 3 to 0, or 3 to 1. 
Trout Burst destroy this guy? Well, at least Kimpo got one point compared to everyone else who has just gotten flat out squashed. So Corrupt Burst, good job there. You move on to the um, small group of winners that we've had so far. So very good, very good. So guys, now we have Happy Rhino, wonder who they are, versus Riptide. So let's see what happens here, guys. As I'm sure you know, I'm very nervous about this battle. Um, this combo is not exactly what you'd call burst resistant, and this is combo is very extremely attack oriented. Just guys, wish wish our combo luck. I'm of course happy Riptide moves on, but yeah, just the Happy Rhino combo. Please, please, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Hey, Extreme got a good hit in there in the middle, in the beginning of the battle. It's kind of roaming around though now. Oh no, every hit scares me so much. Oh, thank goodness Extreme ran out of energy. Not to be biased or anything, but I am biased. It's happy run over for goodness sakes. I'm sure if any other babyboomers are watching this, they're cheering for their combo. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Oh my goodness, this was a better launch. Why? Why? Okay. Okay. <laughs> three, two, one, and three, two, one. Oh no! Oh! Heavy Rhino, yes, you avoided the attacks! I flower patterned, um, um, Riptide there just so it would get a better chance of hitting it like last time. Come on, just a little. Oh, thank goodness! We did not burst, guys! This comes all down to this last battle. Three, two, one, and good launch. Three, two, one! Oh no, yes! Come on, Heavy Rhino! Barely missing the attacks! Oh no, he's getting in some though. I think we might have avoided the most of the attacks, guys! I'm doing the best I can to launch both, um, Beyblades. Here we go. Yes! Happy Rhino manages to barely survive. Good job, Riptide. Thank you for not beating me. I really appreciate it. Happy Rhino is still in this tournament, guys. Whew! Next up, we have Beyblade Dad versus Nico Nation. Let's get straight into it. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Oh my goodness, Nico Nation, calm down. I'm really excited to see what happens in this match, though. Um, Beyblade Dad is one of the only less spin combos we got here. It's in defense mode just because it's the better mode of the two that um, Salamander has. And plus, like, dads are defensive, like, they're children, like, protective. So we're going with that. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. The nation's calming down a little for this battle, it seems like. Less big hits. Oh no! Oh no! Catastrophe has struck! Catastrophe! It's right off! I'm so sorry, the donation, but your combo just was like, nah, I'm gonna head out. And so the frame just left! And Beyblade Dad was so close to bursting! Whew, that might have been a stroke of luck for this combo, because it would have just lost. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. A burst finish could possibly happen because um, Beyblade Dad's been getting on. Oh, oh no, Eco Nation is fainting. If they can't get in some hits, can it burst Beyblade Dad or is it gonna run out of steam to burst? Ooh, and we got Beyblade Dad barely winning that and it, he wasn't even close to bursting, guys. Destroying the competition. Two to one. Man, this is a close match. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Three go, guys. Big hits. Are we going to see it first? I don't know. I'm not feeling it, honestly, but it could happen. This is close. It seems like Beyblade Dad has a little more sand than just because it's holding down the middle a little better. Oh, no. An equalization though, and that was the tie, guys. How are you? Like, ah, I don't know, guys. I don't know what to call it besides the tie. From my perspective, that looked like a perfect tie, guys. Perfect tie. These two are so close. Let's get into this next battle. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Ooh, this is gonna be close, 
guys, I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. I'm trying to like take turns or alternate launching who goes first. Um, just kind of randomly. Oh no, Nico Nation's frame! No, it lost the way Nico Nation goes down. Not because of the loss, not because of anything else, because of his frame falling off. And that's because of 12. 12 was his ultimate downfall. Not only did it give him like zero stamina, but my 12, guys, is super worn out to the point to where frames just don't stay on it. 12 was the downfall of Nico Nation. Next up, we have Illinok versus Love Burst. Two really big VTubers, like two of the biggest VTubers that I watch the most. So this is gonna be a really interesting battle. Not sure who to cheer for. I don't want to be biased though, but I always am. So here we go. Three, two, one. And I have no idea what these combos are going to perform like, especially left first. Because he has guard. I, I think it's called guard. My goodness, I'm forgetting everything today. But I think it's called guard. It's the tip that comes from Blast Genius as his performance tip. My goodness, left first is just really high on standing right now. You can just see him. He's not wavering a bit. Um, Illina, oh no, Illina just scraped the floor! And just look at that, guys. That's one good and bad thing about guard. It just, like, keeps spinning forever. Wobbling forever. Three, two, one, and... Three, two, one, huge hits. Is the frame gonna go flying off? On any of these battles. It's like the... Not the actual frame, like, Illina, or, um, Nico Nation. Not like that, but I mean, like, um... The armor and wow, right on cue the armor falls up. <gasps> and Buff Bruce somehow manages to keep spinning. Three, two, one, and that one that Buff Bruce. Three, two, one. My goodness, why do I? I just realized why do I count down and say three, two, one after I launch them? Do you think that's kind of weird? I don't know. Anyways, it seems like left or Buff Bruce couldn't take the middle this time, and I think I might lose. And Illinok wins, guys. Three, two, one. And three, two, one. A little bit of a clank there when they were launched. But it left first is not in the center this time. Which really seems to kind of determine his success. He's kind of shoved and bullied his way to the center, honestly, though. But it's kind of a close game. I, ooh, I'm not sure. Who's going to take it? And Illinok takes it, my goodness. It's like whoever is launched first takes it. it. Which is weird because usually whoever's launched last takes it. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Hey guys, interesting launches there. I'm not sure how this is gonna play out. Seems like um left first is kind of more in the middle, but I'm not too sure. the same problem his frame just scraped so next we have both of them's versus burst files let's get straight into it not sure how this is gonna go for the unicorn but we'll see both of them are gonna put them in um the up hitting mode just because i think it's probably the better mode and because it like is cooler so let's get straight into this three two one and three two one every one of this tournament. Wouldn't that be amazing? Okay, please don't burst. Please don't burst. Please. Are you really gonna run out of stamina, Unicrest? Is that how you're gonna go down? Really? You ran out of stamina? And he's running around. No comments, next battle. Three, two, one, and three, two. Oh no, it's over. It's over. It's gonna burst. It's gonna burst or run out of stamina. One of the two, it's always how it goes down. I am sorry, Bultums. I'm sorry in advance. No. Rest in peace, Unicrust. Oh, look at that, guys. Do you see this? If I just twist it, I'd... a tiny bit more would have bursted. It still has one chance left to redeem itself. We're putting it in its jumpy mode, guys, because that's the only chance it has now, honestly. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Back to the place. And rest in peace. Rest in peace. At least he took him. At least the unicorn combo took a 
um, to First Files out with them on that last hit. It bursted before First Files did. First Files just burst because of its parts. I'm sorry, my unicorn friend combo. We're going on to our very last one. And we have the Beyblade Geeks, the super crazy big VTubers versus Quicken Bacon, the VTuber with the most spicy name to say. So let's get straight into this. Three, two, one. Oh no, oh no, three, two, one. Big hits, not really, but they're just more shoving around each other more than anything, just kind of flowing, flowing with the, the flow of the battle. Anyways, just some minor clinks, nothing too big. Commentation, whoop whoop. But yeah, here we go. It's gonna come down to the wire. I honestly think Quick and Bacon might have it. No, I think. The Beyblade Geeks had that, just by barely, just like a hair. Quake and Bacon, mood change, two balance type. Here we go. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. Been all around the stadium, goodness. Okay, settling down. Minor hits, they're really getting off fast pretty far though. I'm not gonna be ringing out for this or anything, but it might affect their, um, Bursting. I don't think either one of them is going to burst though. And I think this is. Whoa! Never mind! The Beyblade Geeks take it. They're once again changing Quick and Bacon's mode to its attack type mode. So let's see how that plays into things. Anyways, this is a really close battle. 3, 2, 1, and 3, 2, 1. Oh no, oh no. Quick and Bacon, man. You gotta learn to conserve your energy. You gotta learn. If the Beyblade Geeks don't take this, I'm going to be super surprised, but you honestly never know with Beyblade battles. Ooh, super close. Here we go, guys. And... What? What? I never... I, ne I, ne I never would have expected that in a million years. Well, Quake and Bacon, with a really epic last battle of this episode, somehow burst... The Beyblade Geeks. So guys, about here, I made a little bit of an oopsies. I thought that Quake and Bacon had won one reality. It was really tied. And I can't really change the past because I already pre-recorded this video and the next part in this series. So I can't really go back and fix um, the bracket. So basically, that's my bad in keeping score. But we kind of can reconcile this with this clip that you can see on screen right now. This was pre-recorded or this was the battle that happened before any of the other battles that I did between these two Beyblades. And as you guys could see, um, the Beyblade Geeks accidentally went into slingshot mode. So I started the battle all over because I thought it wasn't fair. But kind of to justify me messing up, we're going to say that that battle counted. Um, and the Beyblade Geeks would have obviously lost since they were in slingshot mode and we're just gonna call it like say that it was an accident and it's kind of the side effect of having a slingshot tip. So basically, Quake and Bacon moves on. I'm just trying to justify me making a mistake, but there kind of is some reason behind it. Anyways, let's move on with this video. He wasn't even hitting them that hard. Wow, and the Beyblade with the most subscribers gets mocked out of the tournament. First episode, first round. Wow, guys, that was really, really intense. So, guys, we have some really interesting Beyblades. Moving one, Happy Rhino made it. Whoop, whoop. Um, don't know how much longer the Happy Rhino is going to last because its combo is not very good. But um, we had some ones that I think would get further knocked out already. I thought Nico Nation could win it, but it got a really hard matchup with Beyblade Dad. I also thought Dillonuck would get a little bit better, but it just didn't. And sadly, the unicorn didn't get it very far. But with that being said, hope you guys stick around for more Happy Rhino episodes and for the next Baytuber Beyblade Custom Tournament thing in Make sure to keep your horns up and smile. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Boom, boom.